Right, uh, so we're here, and uh, what is your company? I uh, uh, Winbox. Winbox. Yes. And you made the first Windows-based TV ever. Exactly. So this is the first TV called Edison, and this is based on uh, Windows CE. Yeah. And it can directly connect to the local network, and it can also directly connect to internet-based services, so web TV services. So built into the TV, there is something in there. Exactly. So what's in that TV is that little box, of course, not with a, a separate case, but it's the same design. So this box on the one side connects to the local network, yeah. either using Ethernet or using a wireless LAN, G or N standard. And on the other side, it just connects to the TV. So that's just a, the European SCAT. SCAT cable. Also or just SCAT? Yeah, yeah, for, for different markets, of not course. H, uh, not HD, right? It can do HDMI. Uh, that chip goes up to 720p. Oh, yeah? and we have a second chip going up to 1080i is or 1080p. Uh, is it a Philips chip? Uh, Philips Semiconductors, yeah. former Philips Semiconductors, today called NXP. Yeah. And so all the boxes running Windows CE5 and running the NXP chips. So you use uh, Windows CE5, is it based on MIPS or something else? Or yes, the, yeah. the, the chip has three cores, one MIPS core and two DSP cores. Cool. So the DSP can do all the video up to HD? Exactly. Uh, and this one too? Or the one you that come next will come. Exactly. This is, let's say, the cheapest version, cheapest version right? Yeah. The business case for that box, and you can see that on the yeah. screen now, is there. So this is now connected to the TV directly using the SCART cable, and it's connected to the local network here yeah. to the internet. Are you rendering the interface with the box or with a computer? No, that's box based. The box is doing the whole interface. Yes, the box is just accessing media from Only the network. Time. Exactly. No, yeah. No, no. I, I can I can also show you. So if I go to, just go to the settings area, you, you see how that that system is set so up. You have this uh, special remote for it. Yeah. So yeah. quite quite simple one. And oops, I'm sorry. So you go in Einstellungen. Exactly, which is the settings of preferences. And so the box is just connected to the local network here. You see DHCP and whatever. And then I say, okay, I want to search for computers in that network. Is using UPnP? A kind of UPnP, the Microsoft flavor we're using, so Windows Media Connect. And the good thing about that is if you have Windows Media Player 11 on some kind of PC, it must not be a media center, it can be any PC, then the box will find that computer. So this is just a standard laptop we have here. And I say, okay, connect, and then that's it. So the box is now connected to that. Exactly. So you don't need a special kind of server program for that. Is, is your box able to do any kind of UPnP if you could? It could also be like Twonky Vision or Intel or whatever UPnP server. But when you sell it, or you have to design it for that? Um, you only limited to Windows right now? Or? So, so uh, uh, Medion is selling a lot of PCs, and these PCs typically have XP or Vista. So in that scenario, typically the bundling is done with Windows Media Player 11, Windows Media Connect. The box can also connect to standard UPnP but if service. You, want, you don't even need a Windows computer in the home. You can just have a NAS with a UPnP. Yes, yes, that would work. That would work. That would work. No. Need for a no. Windows computer to render no. Nothing. That would also work. It's not transcoding the code. No. No. The box directly using the DSPs can decode. Uh, a set codec? of formats, not not every codec, but uh, um, like MPEG-2, MPEG-4, H.264, Windows Media. Yeah. We could do DIFFX, but the majority of uh, of companies like Medion yeah. don't want to put DIFFX in for license reasons yeah, or for support reasons. They don't say it's DIFFX, but it, it does do DIFFX. Technically, it could do DIFFX, yeah. but then you have to pay additional licenses, etc. Don't you don't, don't you don't you just have to pay the license just to brand the DIFFX? So DIFFX, I think DIFFX is not just one standard, yeah, it's a lot of sub-standards and some are for free, some you have to pay license. Uh, some of it would work, some of the normal DIFFX, simple profile, MPEG-4 simple profile. I, 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 I would think that work, but typically from the support point of view, so if you buy a box at retail, uh, no DIFFX label on it, etc., for license reasons and for support reasons, because it's difficult to sell which kind of DIFFX will work. Yeah? But usually Philips, they are DIFFX uh, compatible. When Philips does a DVD player, yeah. they always say DIVX certified. Yeah, which is, you can do that, yeah. but that just is a little bit more close to it. Medion is not doing that. So all of these codecs, all of them 720p? Yes. H264, 720p? Yes. And the next one, 1080p? Yes. And when is the next one coming? So this box is now on the market in, in Germany and Scandinavia. Yeah. The next version we will see, let's say, around IFA, so 
second half of this year, more or less the same form factors, same variations, but then one chip revision later, some more horsepower. It's yeah. already on the market. And the chip is already on the market and the designs are still in the labs. Yeah, but that will happen then, let's the say, six yeah. months. Yeah. Ah, so, but uh, this, when is it released and how much will it cost? So, these boxes will be in uh, Germany around April. And the price for a small box like this is, yeah. let's say, around 150 euro yeah. retail street price. And what you get is that you get um, um, a service from, in Germany, from uh, ProSiebenSat1, so the biggest broadcaster. They do a video on demand service called MaxDome. And this service is, yeah, it's an internet-based service. So that is possible with that box? Exactly. That, that is integrated and you will get something like, let's say, I just have to log in here, something like uh, three months uh, uh, for free, access to 10,000 videos, roughly like that. And then if you want to watch the videos after that, you have to pay, let's say, three, five euros for renting a video for one day. Whoa. But you have access to 10,000 videos for free for free? Months. Yes, exactly. That's already Did included have, uh, in the price. A subscription after that, where you can continue to pay it with full access, no limit. You, access? Yeah, you can do a subscription yeah. that is roughly 20 euros per month, or you can go pay per view. And Prosieben is a TV channel. Yeah, it's the biggest broadcasting group in Germany. They own several uh, channels. You also have uh, movies. Yes, definitely. And uh, so what they do is typically that that let's say. Um, uh, um, series like, let's say, Lost or, or whatever, Sex in the City, stuff like that. Yeah. They run uh, the most actual series on the TV. Yeah. Uh, it's broadcasted. But they will say in the TV after the series was, you also want to watch the old episodes, go to MaxDome, go so to the video on demand service. They even sometimes they even make it available online quicker than on the TV. Yeah, yeah. So you can watch the next episode maybe one day before the others if you go online. So now you're logged in. Exactly. Um, so you see, this is a user that's currently not subscribed to anything. So I would have to pay now for um, single videos. Uh, just a second. And the credit card, you have to put it in. It remembers. <laughs> no, it is. It is uh, one time you get an account. account username, and password. You have to log in, and it remembers your account. You don't have to log in every time. Or... No, it it, it it remembers it um, if you wanted to, yeah. of course, because otherwise uh, other people can use it. And I don't know if I have sufficient bandwidth here on the internet to really to load it, because it, all the computers it, are on the same network here. Is it going to support HD? And there are already some contents in HD, of course, not 10,000. It's just it's a small number and growing. Small number, and that you can stream over the internet. Yes. So you don't need a computer at home. You just need this little box. 150 euro, you get access to all the movies in the world if they if they license it. If exactly, if it's yeah. available, and it's it's a growing number of content there. Is it is it able to, to support Flash that chip? Um, it is able to support it. Yes. Um, and um, I will try again. I don't have maybe the, the DSL speed here because all the computers here are, of course, on the same DSL line, which so makes it quite Zoom. slow. That is the name. And it's already launched on a normal computer? Or? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You can also use the service on the PC. Yeah. So for, for MaxDome, so, so there we are. For MaxDome, um, the value, of course, is uh, when you put it directly on the TV or on these small boxes, they are in the living room where the consumer really wants to do it. Um, it's available on the PC, but how many PCs really are in the living room? So that, that, that's not mass market, right? So with that approach, they can really enter a mass market thing there. Right. And these are different products. What do you this and this? So this is so um, basically this is like the big version, yeah, of the small box that has all the internet connectivity things that the small box yeah. has. Plus it has two digital terrestrial tuners. Yeah. Or, and it has a hard drive integrated, so it can do PVR, time shifting, trick modes, all stuff like that. Plus, it can also access internet based services and the network based services. So, you can actually download videos on it from the internet? Or no? um, yeah, you, you, stream? you could. It depends a little bit on the business model. Some operators do download to own movies, so you own the right and you keep the content. Uh, others, like Maxstone, they currently just do uh, uh, video on demand streaming. Yeah. Yeah, but the different markets, different do operators do things. So, no plan really, because the the question is, um, 
So we are just a technology company, right? So if a customer like Medion wants to sell a product in retail or wants to make marketing together with media companies, they will limit the scope of, of the services to the set of partners. Maybe the partners want to save money and use BitTorrent. Yeah, there are some concepts, right? So there are some, some let's say, commercial variations of the BitTorrent concept. But um, to be right now with the hard disk Yeah, it, it, technically, yeah, it could be done. But then, of course, if a video on demand provider or customer of us says he wants to use that kind of peer-to-peer -peer approach, okay, why not? Because the box has an hard drive, it has multimedia operating system, so we can implement that. And, uh, and uh, what's it called? How much will it cost this one, the big one? So the big one, fully loaded with two tuners, wireless LAN, and let's say 250 gigabyte hard drive, will be have a retail street price of around 500 euro. All right. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. You're welcome.